Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles, but I'm going to give you another daily dose of dismal Disney and a dose of reality for Disney Pixar. Buzz Lightyear is not going to be the top movie at the box office this weekend. Buzz is number two. Buzz is number two by a pretty wide margin. We're going to talk about this because Disney thought Buzz Lightyear was going to dominate at the box office this weekend. And these uh, damn dinosaurs ate Buzz's lunch. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 270,000 subs. Uh, please join us. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We do talk a lot about Disney. We talk about pop culture. talk about the drama around Hollywood. And uh, we do talk a lot about Disney having worked in and around the company ourselves uh, for a number of years, different capacities. And yeah, so this is interesting. Uh, I thought Buzz Lightyear was actually going to do pretty good. I thought Lightyear was actually going to do okay. Now, that being said, I have zero interest in watching this movie. It's a realistic take on Lightyear. The reviews have been lukewarm, uh, despite being certified fresh for a Pixar movie. It's They're not good. Uh, they're okay, but they're not great. And um, it just doesn't look very fun. It doesn't look like a very fun movie. Now, there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of drama over that kiss and all this other stuff that is beside the point i don't give a shit about any of that but it has limited uh you know the countries in which disney could distribute this film uh they didn't seem to care they seem to think it was going to do so well in america because it's a toy story uh adjacent it's a toy story adjacent movie it was going to do so well that people were going to come out in droves to see a realistic Buzz Lightyear movie without the, the rest of the Toy Story gang, and it did not. It's not doing that great. It's doing good, but it's not the top movie. So let's talk about this coming from The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, before I get into that, though, I want to show what they were predicting originally. Uh, they were predicting a $100 million opening. Uh, there were a couple outlets that were 90 to $100 million predicting for Lightyear, and if you click on the story now... Actually, they downgraded it to 80 million, but it was actually 100 million. I'd seen that number a couple other places too. So they are downgrading it. And also just to, to point out that critics are downgrading the movie too. Uh, it's got a 77%, which is still good. It's still good, but by Pixar standards, it's definitely at the bottom. Um, this is, this is uh, all Pixar movies ranked. Of course, Cars 2, which I completely agree with. Cars 2, 39%. Cars 3, 69%. I think Cars 3 was actually okay. I think it was okay. Cars, 74%. Good Dinosaur, 76%. Brave, 78%. And Lightyear's at 77%. So Lightyear's actually was over Brave. So now Lightyear is between the Good Dinosaur and Brave. It's definitely in the bottom third of uh, Pixar movies in terms of, of critical score. I mean, it's actually got a worse rating than Monsters University, a much worse rating than Onward. Uh, Luca, Bugs Life, it's worse than a Bugs Life, and you start to, you know, creep up to the top here, and you're seeing the movies you would expect to be here. Ratatouille, Incredibles, Coco, Toy Story 4, which I do not understand. Uh, the first three, yes, but four, nah. Up, yes. Toy Story 3, yes. Inside Out, yes. Finding Nemo, yes. Toy Story and Toy Story 2. So it's all the way down here. Not terribly good for a Pixar movie, but hey, whatever, whatever. Uh, it should have done better than this. Um, not a not a bomb by any any stretch of the imagination, but Disney did think they were just going to walk in and, and take Father's Day. Uh, Hollywood Reporter, uh, box office, light year and surprise battle with Jurassic World domination. Toy Story spinoff had been expected to top Father's Day and Juneteenth weekend, but the dinosaurs are disrupting those plans. Pixar and Disney's Lightyear is in a surprise close battle for the number one spot at the Father's Day and Juneteenth holiday box office with holdover Jurassic World Dominion. That's right. It's the second week for Jurassic World. The second week for Jurassic World, and it's eating Disney's lunch. The animated family film was expected to open to at least 70 million to 85 million in North America, but now it looks like Lightyear may only buzz to 52 million to 55 million for the three-day weekend. Universal and Amblin's Jurassic World Dominion could stomp to $57 million in its second weekend. Monday is a federal holiday honoring Juneteenth, uh, which I didn't even know. When did that happen? I, I missed that memo. When did that happen? Last year? 
When did that happen? Uh, so Monday could look more like a Saturday or Sunday in terms of traffic at the box office. Universal insiders believe Jurassic World 3's domestic total could climb as high as 66 million for the four days. Lightyear could come close to 60 million through Monday, but the Toy Story spinoff start as a major disappointment. Chris Evans, this is the Hollywood Reporter. This isn't, this isn't YouTubers talking out of their ass. It is a major disappointment. Chris Evans voices the iconic Space Ranger in the origin tale, which marks Pixar's return to the big screen after seeing several of its animated family films head straight for Disney Plus due to the COVID pandemic. Lightyear serves as a test for the strength of the family market as the box office continues to recover. Look, there are a number of reasons. If this were Toy Story 5, maybe. It is a realistic take on a Toy Story character voiced by somebody else and it looks pretty dark for a Pixar movie. Uh, Robot Cat notwithstanding. And the reviews have not been good. They're not great. Not by Pixar standards. You know, Pixar is usually in the 90s. High 80s to 90s to 100. 77 is not good for a Pixar movie. Even, um, even uh, Turning Red, which a lot of people dunked on. I actually thought it was okay. But a lot of people dunked on Turning Red still had a 90-something. So for a Pixar movie, that's that's pretty shit. Um, the animated film currently has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 80%. No, that's dropping, which is definitely on the lower end for a Pixar offering, particularly for the Toy Story franchise. Audiences gave it an A- cinema score. There'll be plenty of Monday quarterbacking as to what went wrong. What went wrong? Lightyear did place number one on Friday with an opening day gross of 20 million. And people probably saw it and said, yeah, this movie's kind of dog shit. This isn't a Toy Story movie. Fuck it. We're, we're out. Various models show Jurassic World Dominion, which grossed 15.7 million, overtaking the Pixar title on Saturday and Sunday. Dominion, which has crossed the 500 million mark globally, should end the weekend with a domestic tally of 257. Paramount and Skydance's Top Gun Maverick remains a formidable force in the fourth weekend. The pick is looking at a three-day gross of $40 million for a domestic tally of $462 million through Sunday as it heads for the $500 million mark. Estimates are going to be updated. So what went wrong? Well, lots of things. And I'm, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. Uh, I, didn't, I thought this movie would start out strong because it's a Toy Story movie. They've been promoting this one pretty heavily. But again, we've got uh, Tim Allen being replaced. We've got people you know, calling out that Tim Allen should not have been replaced. We have a more serious take on Buzz Lightyear. Of course, we've got the political bent you know, that has to be brought up with every damn Disney project now. So look at, the, look at Disney's competitors. They're doing Jurassic World. They're giving audiences what they want. We can argue as to whether or not the movie's any good. Uh, the second, uh, Jurassic World, I did not think was good. I thought it was lame. The first one I actually liked okay. I liked it okay, but I, you know, really, we've only had like one good Jurassic Park movie, and that was the original. And then uh, Jurassic World, I would say, is kind of a distant second, and the other ones are trash. But that's my personal opinion. That is my personal opinion, right? So they're giving audiences what they want. Top Gun Maverick is the throwback to the 80s in every imaginable way, right? And 80s sensibilities. And we've got, you know, Jurassic World. Again, as far as I know, not a lot of politics in that movie. Then we've got Disney. Every movie they put out, they have to lead with activism, 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 activism. So it probably turns some people off. I don't think that's the main reason that the movie didn't do well, but it certainly didn't help. And we've got uh, Chris Evans out there shooting his mouth off. And again, you know, Tim Allen being missing and some conservative outlets being like, yeah, Tim Allen's missing because Pixar doesn't like his politics. Eh, you know, it's not going to help. And again, this is just very, very different for a Toy Story movie. This is not what people wanted. And the reviews are not good. The reviews are not good. It's too serious, too dark for a Toy Story movie. Um, you know, variety, box office, light year opening weekend, struggling to outpace Jurassic World Dominion. Golly gee, imagine that. So it's going to be really interesting to see, uh, you know, how the blame game plays out on Monday, Tuesday. Because I guarantee you, Disney is going to be pointing at the bigots and blaming the bigots for the box office bomb. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later.